Today we use email. It is the most common form of communication on the web. Um, we use it in business, in the business world, just to ch uh, talk with friends sometimes if we can't get on instant messenger or just, you know, basically email has become the way to send mail to somebody. You, there's e, there's e-cards now. You can send e-greetings to like friends and family. You don't have to send those cards, which cost money in the mail. Now you can do it for free and be a cheap, you know, you, you get it. So there's email, right? But with email comes the problem of which email client do you use to check your email? I mean, there are so many out there, aren't there? They, let me just name the top three that I can think of off the top of my head. There's Outlook. Well, I guess there's also Outlook Express, which is now Windows Mail in, in Vista. Then there's Thunderbird, which is uh, Mozilla's version of uh, Outlook and their mail client. And then there's Mail, which is just OS X's mail client, which you can see I'm using right over here. Um, but uh, those are, I would say those are, I, would, I wouldn't combine Outlook and Windows Mail together. They're... Windows Mail is like a watered down version of Outlook, but uh, nonetheless, we're going to talk about Outlook, Thunderbird, and Mail, which is the OS X Mail client. I'm going to start off with Outlook and Mail, comparing those two a little bit. You know, Mail has come a long way on OS X. In um, Tiger, when the the Mail client in Tiger, which is, which was the previous version of OS X, has was very. It was very basic. It would just, you know, it had mail, it had stationery. You could change, you could set up accounts, multiple email accounts, blah blah blah, all that good stuff. And now with Leopard, the new uh, there's a new version of Mail on there, and it's really really nice actually. There, what I've seen when I when I first start, when I first started using Mail on OS X Leopard, I was like, wow, these guys, Apple, that is, they're really trying to go after Outlook. And I'll tell you why. This is why. They added um, a to-do list. They added um, more functionality in terms of RSS feeds. You can add RSS feeds. You can make um, to-do to lists, as I said. You could also do what they call notes. Um, you could write down little notes that you need to remember to do blah, blah, blah. I guess that, I don't see, that's to-do lists and notes. I guess they incorporate together, but there's two separate things. Um, that's really, really nice. They, and plus, the RSS feeds is excellent as well. And uh, they have a little sidebar where you can manage all your different emails accounts separately and it actually really separates them very nice um, better than Outlook does in my opinion um, because you have the different mailboxes and you can check all the mailboxes or you can just check the mailboxes that of the mail accounts you want to see um, it lists the to-dos and the reminders all, and the notes all very nicely uh, the RSS feeds are all there you can just check each one separately it's really really nice but on top of that it has excellent spam filter um, filtering built in, R just built in, right in there. It's excellent. It catches like all. I would say, 99.9% .9 of my spam gets caught in mail. Meanwhile, in Outlook, on the other hand, not not really so much. It counts. It, actually, it's got a lot better in 2007, the latest version, but it's eh, it's still still not where I want it to be in terms of catching all my spam. I, mail does a better job at that. However. When you have Outlook, it's it's Outlook 2007 is definitely is better than 2003. It's by uh, by a long shot. 2003 was okay, but Outlook 2007 is like the jump from XP um, from Outlook out, um, Office XP from 97 or whatnot. It's it's tremendous. It's it's just great, and uh, they have added a whole bunch of new stuff. They always have the RSS feeds. In, uh, they have the calendar, the con the contacts. The junk filtering has definitely improved from 2003 to 2007, like by a lot, like I was saying before. But it doesn't catch everything. It's still, but it's definitely improved. Um, you can export mail, import your mail. All the basic features had multiple accounts. The only quant the only thing I don't like about that it doesn't manage the multiple accounts very well. You'd have to set up filters and rules to. It's just a mess, you know, in some cases. So mail does a better job at that. Um, also with Outlook, I like the fact that you have all of your things in one program. Your contacts, your calendar, your email. I like it. Whereas in mail, you only have your mail, but then you have iCal and you have your address book and all that other stuff as separate applications, which is nice because you can incorporate them, but I like the fact that Outlook has it all in one little package right there. That's just me though. Um, in terms of Thunderbird, Thunderbird's just a mail client. Um, 
I used to use it a lot before I had Outlook 2007 because, frankly, 2003 wasn't cutting it for me. Um, but I, just the problem with Thunderbird that I had that really, really bothered me was the fact that it was almost impossible to export your mail as one file to, to and then import it in another email client. It, it was literally the most convoluted thing you'd have to do to get it exported and to a file or just export your email in general so you can import it somewhere else. It gave me fits. I, I, I couldn't figure, I mean, I read millions of different ways. I tried all these different third-party applications that say they do this, do this. I never got it working fully 100%, whereas in Outlook, I would just export PST, blah, there you go, you're good to go. That always bothered me, I because you should be able to export your email with ease so you can import it in another client, whereas you could export your Outlook email into Thunderbird, no problem. I don't understand why you can't do vice versa. But who knows? I mean, what do you, what, uh, the bottom line is, I want to know what email client you guys use. What what features do you look for in an email client? What do you, what do you like about what do you, the email client you use? I, uh, there, I also know there's for, um, there's Eudora, which a lot of people like. Eudora is one of the uh, one of the lesser known but still really good email clients that I know a lot of people use. There's also Gmail, I guess you can use online webmail. There's Hotmail or I guess Windows Live Mail, I, I guess it is now. Yahoo Mail. There's all these different mail applications and online and software based. What do you use? That's what I want to know. Send me an email, best techie at besttechie.net. Let me know what you guys use for email. I'm curious to know because I really, really want to know what makes an email client for you guys. Maybe we can get something working together so we can make a, a better email client. Who knows? All right, we're what? But you're also, remember, you're watching live.besttechie.net. You can check out our website. It's the best techie.net show. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.